side. We spin records, specifically 45s here. Tonight we're spinning uh, Rockabilly. This track from a band called The Renowned, they're from about 1961, they're from Minnesota. Uh, this is a rocker. This is a true rocker. Gritty vocals, gritty and nasty vocals from a woman named Marjorie Lake, who I wish had recorded more. I think you'll enjoy this. It is a, in another lifetime, I would like to have married this woman. I have no idea what she looks like. Anyway, the Renowns from 1961. <laughs> there. They're from Hibbing, Minnesota, which is uh, home to a uh, very young Bob Dylan. The story is that they shared the same stage, but then again, if I'm a musician living in Hibbing, Minnesota, I shared the stage with Bob Dylan all the time, obviously. Anyway, I love this record. Is, she is sassy. She is mean. The Renowns had won a uh, local contest at a local radio station. The award was uh, to go to Chicago, record a record for the Everest label. Uh, this record sold very well in the Midwest. It sold uh, reportedly up to 100,000 copies. Uh, it was distributed by MGM. They, uh, they actually had an off the chance to, uh, to sign to MGM, but their manager wouldn't allow them to do so. In fact, they were even talking to them being on the Ed Sullivan Show. But anyway, Marjorie Lake, the little girl with the big voice, one of those records that he just really, really, just, it, just, it just kicks ass. He used an old colloquialism. <laughs> I actually uh, knew this members of this band uh, uh, growing up in the 60s. It was a very popular band, and they won the Battle of the Bands. Went to Chicago and made the record, and actually the band is still in existence right now, and whenever we go back to Chisholm, um, we go listen to the Renowns when they're playing, and one of my classmates, Tom Moeller, uh, plays the guitar in that band now. <laughs> 